This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 1180 of Horse Tip Daily, your almost everyday morsel of helpful hints, useful facts, and practical techniques for horse folks. Brought to you today by Horselovers.com. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's show is a twofer tip, two tips in one show. We'll start out with Jen DeMeglio from Horselovers.com, who will explain their sweepstakes and how and why you should be winning a trip to Disney and uh, score some amazing one-day-only deals. And then we will be joined by CHA instructor Ann Brzezicki, who has some great exercises for developing feel. Compliments of the CHA episode on Hit'em. Well, hi, Jen. Welcome to the Stable Scoop Show. Oh, it's nice to be here today. It's good to have you. We want to officially welcome Horselovers.com as a sponsor here on Stable Scoop. We're so excited to have you guys. We're really excited to be a part of the team. Well, now, everybody that has listened to our show for the last eight years and a lot of the other shows we do here in the Horse Radio Network will recognize Equestrian Collections because they were one of our first sponsors eight years ago, and they've been with us ever since. And you guys are kind of, uh, you're kind of relatives now. Explain that. Yep. Yep. Back in uh, um, May, we've, we've taken Equestrian Collections. It has become part of the uh, Choice Brands uh, Corporation family. So we're really excited to have added them. Um, they bring a huge client base to us that's, you know, a little varied from the ones, you know, with horse lovers, our customers that, um, you know, we have coming into horse lovers. So it's very exciting um, to add them to our family. So horselovers.com and equestriancollections.com are like sisters now. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. there we go. See, yep. that's, that's how Sharing I think of it. Sharing the same pasture. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's even better. I like that even better. That's pretty good, Jen. Uh, well, now tell us a little bit about Horselovers.com and the history of uh, Horse Lovers. Um, with a Z, com. by the way. Horse Lovers with a Z at the end. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where it's very important to remember when you find us, you got to find us with that Z. Um, Horse Lovers basically started as an eBay store. Um, I haven't been with them since the beginning. I've been here about five years now. And um, they um, basically have just grown um, with the number of vendors that we that we carry um, and moved into a, you know, a website, um, Omnichannel. Um, we, in addition to having the website, we do um, about a dozen road shows, so you can catch us around the country. Um, the big one that we're doing right now is Equine Mass. We're heading out there next week. They'll be on their oh, way. We'll be out there. I'll see ya. Yep, yep, yep. We have, uh, I believe it's about 4,500 square foot, uh, uh, basically, you know, mobile tax shop that we'll have there. So it's a great way for our um, customers to Helena come and can spend more money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Christmas how is coming, does, right? How long does it take you to uh, to pack up your rig for a show like Equine Affair? That's a big oh, deal. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it's um, it's a huge challenge to, um, but, you know, our warehouse crew and our roadshow crew, um, you know, they continue to streamline the process and, you know, that's why we're able to, to grow the size of the uh, tax shops basically that we're you know taking on the road um and a lot of our vendor sponsor you know come and join us so they they're a huge help because they take up so much square feet and within the each of the you know each of these tax shops that we set up so um but it's definitely an all hands on deck um and i think that's what you know makes horse lovers as a you know working here you know it's just a big family and you know you, you know wear more than one hat you know you may have a title but you're definitely jumping in to other parts of it, you know, as we get ready for stuff like this, because we want it to be, you know, we want the customers to get the best experience when they go to that type of event. Well, I know a lot of our listeners will be heading up to the Big E for that. They do every year. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we're, ex- we're excited about that. And you guys, uh, horselovers.com, uh, you do a number of fun things. One of the reasons I like horse lovers, and I was so glad that uh, we were able to, you know, we were able to get together, is that you do so many fun things. And one of them is sweepstakes. And last mm-hmm. year you did a sweepstakes, and we're going to talk to the winners of that sweepstakes on our big radiothon, holiday radiothon coming up. Yep. But uh, you did a sweepstakes last year where people could win a trip and about a million dollars, what seemed like a million dollars worth of prizes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, in Kentucky, they went to Rolex. And you have a new sweepstakes that's coming up that people be able to sign up for. And this time, they're coming down our way. Yes. 
Yep. I mean, there, it's going to be a sweepstakes to the, the Disney Ranch, the Tri-Circle D Ranch down at uh, Fort Wilderness. Um, and it's for, uh, they're going to get to go to the ranch and get a behind-the-scenes experience because, you know, it's been brought to, I didn't realize this in the past, but it was told that Walt Disney actually was, you know, an equestrian himself and very involved in horses. And part of the Disney um, philosophy is that horses will always be involved um, and a part of the uh, any of his parks. So um, it's going to be, I mean, it's like a horse lover's dream, like to be able <laughs> to go down and, you know, get to go to Disney World and get to ride horses. And um, in addition to that, we're going to uh, do a day trip out to um, Ocala. So they'll get the full experience of, uh, you know, horses in Florida. Well, that, that's terrific. Um, I yeah, think it's awesome. We, we were just there and, and did a show from the ranch there at Disney World. Oh, did you? And, yeah, it was mm-hmm. a lot of fun. They have a lot of horses there. We got to do the trail ride and carriage rides and all that stuff. And you mm-hmm. might recognize some of the pictures. Some of the listeners might recognize some of the pictures at horselovers.com. Uh, you might you might see yours truly in one of those, sitting on a horse. Uh, all Disney right. World. So, <laughs> so, You've been on a horse a lot. I lately. know. I've broken records this year for the number Pretty of Pretty soon you're going to be horse. shopping at horselovers.com. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Well, we sure hope so. <laughs> Jennifer keeps saying, we're going to get you just doing more than just ca- carriage driving now. But uh, There you go. Well, now, you guys also do a lot of different things on the website uh, for the holidays, and we're going to be announcing those over the next couple of weeks. And yep. I want to thank you, too, because you're one of the main sponsors now for the brand new first ever Holiday Radiothon we're doing on November 30th, 12 hours live on the air. And you're one of the big sponsors for that day. And thank you for that. We appreciate that also. Oh, we're happy to be a part of it. But you also do something that's available right now, and it's a daily flash sale. Tell us about that. Uh, a flash sale is something that we run. Um, Horse Lovers is based on a lot of the deals that we get from our vendors. So we do offer daily deals. And in addition to that, we offer a flash sale, which is typically one or two items that um, are are posted every single day. It runs for about 24 hours. And you can actually see the time ticking down. I'm watching today's flash sale as we talk, which is a pair of area youth uh, zip paddock boots. And, you know, you go right to the flash sale part of the website and, you know, click on that and it'll take you in and, if your sizes are still available, you want to grab them while the sale's going on. <laughs> I know. I got to stop you right there because um, I have a pair of these Ariat boots. Really? I, I, yeah, I bought them for Grace, but it, it ends up that we and we're wearing the same size. The the flash sale that they have is great because these boots uh, you are awesome. Well, now normally they're, yeah. normally they're around a hundred bucks, and they have them for forty four dollars. <laughs> yeah, forty four ninety nine. So seriously, if your size is left, grab them because um, this is one of Ariat's more durable boots. I know yeah. because I put them through their paces. <laughs> so I just had to add that. Well, you, there are so many things and they have the, we're going to be talking about the 45 days of Christmas coming up, uh, yep. which you're, which you're absolutely going to love when you get into gift buying mode. We're going to have you guys involved all day on the radiothon day, which we're so excited yeah. about. And we've just got a lot more things coming up and we just wanted to welcome you today and, and introduce the audience to horselovers.com. And remember that's horselovers with a Z.com. Check them yep. out today. Hop on over to the website. And you know, we always have this complaint that we do too much and especially even even on the uh, sponsor side that we do too much in the English world well you guys have a large western side as well so yes. we're not just yes. English right mm-hmm. oh absolutely um, we're I would say we're like 60 40 and you know if, if there's something that we don't have and the customer is looking for it you know we're always happy to hear and then we'll reach out to the vendors and see if you know if it's something we can add to our line. So for the Western Riders, we're talking barrel racing, saddles, trail pleasure, endurance, roping, uh, you know, the whole thing, bridles, head stalls, saddle pads, Western bits, you know, the saddle bags, the whole thing is their spurs. So, you know, for, for, for once we're representing the Western side here and, uh, we're really happy about that too, because we have a ton of Western listeners. So we appreciate that. Well, thank you so much, Jen, for joining us, Customer Service Manager at Horselovers.com. We appreciate you being on board. So what are some of the exercises that you like to give your riders to help develop that feel? Oh, that's one of my favorites. Um, We'll start off even early in a rider's career if they come to us with not too much experience. Asking them to be very aware of the messages coming up to them from the horse. 
lots of folks ride all their lives and never realize how much information there is to be found underneath their seat and legs. So we ask the riders, for instance, at the walk to let their seat swing with the horse's back. And they'll feel the forward and back motion of the walk pretty easily. But then we can make them aware that there's also an alternating drop in their seat bones to the right when the horse's right hind leg is off the ground and to the left when the horse's left hind leg is off the ground. And that can give the rider the feel of which hind leg is taking a step forward and which one is driving forward at that time. Then we can take that on to the sitting trot, to the canter. It helps riders become more aware of the balance that they're creating in the horse and the horse's messages to them as to whether it's better or worse, even, for instance, if they're on the correct or the wrong diagonal or the correct or the wrong lead. We like the riders to know within the first stride if they're correct or if they need to make a change in the horse. They have so much to do when they're advanced riders that's out in front of them. They have to ride a course or a pattern or obstacles. There's so much to do out there that if they can feel what's happening underneath them, they don't have to use their eyes so much and take their brain off of what they're going to do next. So um, the more information they can get from the horse without looking, the better. Absolutely. And I know the same thing, not only for posting diagonals and for just feeling what hip is doing what at what time, but leads at the canter and the lope, right? That's another one. Do you have a specific exercise that helps with that? Yes. We'll ask the riders to feel that, excuse me, outside hind leg dropping at the walk, say, give it a countdown. Like, here's the right hind leg coming forward, the right hind leg coming forward, then count it down three, two, one, and ask for the left lead. And when the horse is in the best position to give you what you're asking for, your chances of getting a quality transition are so much better. Um, That we do in both directions. We can do it up the center line, um, ask them to take the canter depart, keep their eyes up and tell us right away which lead they think they got. Um, Those kinds of exercises done over and over are excellent. And you know, Roxanne just told us about the draw system in the IEA and the IHSA. So when you have school horses, if you can switch horses maybe halfway through the lesson, let the riders do the same exercises on a different horse that might have a little different feel, they can assimilate these things a little bit quicker often and um, learn to talk horse on more different animals a lot sooner. And this is all so good because you're absolutely right. All these different exercises can build so much confidence, whether you horse show, whether you go down the trail, whether you um, do whatever you do with your own particular horse. So thank you for being on today. How do we find more information about MTSU and yourself? Is there a website people can find you on? There is. um, And I would suggest going first to the MTSU Horse Science Program Facebook page. And under the little map on the left, you'll find the link to the programs in horse science. Well, there you have it. You can find links to today's guests as well as lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. This podcast was made possible through the generous support of horselovers.com and listeners like you. Learn how you can help support Horse Radio Network programming and qualify for auditors-only perks by going to horsetipdaily.com and clicking on the Become an Auditor banner in the center of the page. This is Coach Jen, and I'll be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse! The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 